I am beyond excited to start cooking my creamy mac and cheese in my caraway pots this summer. Caraway cookware is non-toxic and chemical-free, so you can fill your summer with the favorite recipes without worrying. Don't miss Caraway Summer Refresh event from June 20th to July 15th. For a limited time, get 10% off site-wide on the internet's favorite kitchenware. Visit carawayhome.com slash TLC to take advantage of this limited time offer for 10% off your next purchase. This deal is exclusive for our listeners, so visit carawayhome.com slash TLC or use code TLC at checkout. Caraway, non-toxic cookware made modern. Welcome to the Think Loud Crew Podcast. Shannon, what is uh, what are, what are you on this morning? Yeah, I don't know. I'm on. Are you I'm, on good energy? I'm on good energy. I was so hyped. I don't know why. I really do need a video camera in my car. <laughs> oh, what I happened? need y'all to just see me. Like, I don't think people understand. There's a whole different Shannon while I'm in the car. Like. Wait, this is good Shannon or crying good Shannon? Good Shannon. Oh, okay. Good oh, Shannon. Is like fun Shannon. I think that people don't understand, like, it's one time, like, when Parker's in the car, we listen to, like, great, like, oldies and stuff. Like, right when he gets out the car, it's, like, a different personality. What I'm, did you play in the car? I'm, like, ratchet. I feel like I'm going back in the day. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, like, Shannon's like, bitch, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. That's me in the car. Oh, my God. And I really wonder when people drive by me, like, what is this girl going through? Because I'm always like, you're yeah. turned up. Always. <laughs> I want to drive always by Always not turned up in the car. Like, on the way here, I was like, coming down like, yeah, the fuck, yeah. <laughs> Shannon, Shannon has an alter is, ego. Is is her her alter ego is coming out. That is my out. alter ego. Like, I told him that the other day. I was like, I don't think you understand. My alter ego is just really just ratchet. I feel like we all have one. Yeah. Like What's there's... yours? Are you ratchet? Is your alter you ratchet? She, yeah, she's she's in like, there. I feel like I'm like a city girl or ah, like... I'm not a city girl! <laughs> <laughs> or like old school back in the day, like when we used to go to like house parties. Like, yeah. yeah. I feel like we wall, have like, very... That's me. Like Different experiences in the car. Shannon's listening to old school ratchet music. I don't play music. And Kyle, what yeah, are you Shine listening to? I doesn't play anything. I That's what I was going to ask you guys. What is your... A lot of different things. It depends on, like, my mood. So I can listen to anything from, like... Well, today I put on some Kodak Black, which I was surprised by because I've never really, like, been in the car and been like, let me put on Kodak Black. But I heard, um, what is it, Pistols and Pearls, and I kind of liked it. Is that a song? Is that a song? I'd... It's his album. Oh, okay. Yeah, so know. that's what I've been listening to. I listen to Afro beats. Like, I listen to foreign music. I listen to, like, speeches sometimes. It really varies. And then Boz now has his own playlist. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Parker has his. Kids. Yeah. Yeah, I listen to very, I, I, I listen to a lot of music, but my thing, if, like, I'm, like, trying to hype myself up or, like, get in my, like, Get in your zone. Get in my zone. It's ratchet. Yeah. I don't, it's really interesting to me sometimes. I really wish I liked music. You don't like music like that? No. <laughs> I've never. Really? Shine's no. just been like. <laughs> I no. literally drive in silence. and So you just think a lot. I don't even know if I'm thinking. I'm just driving. You're just in a zone. Um, yeah, I've never. I feel like even from when I was a kid, I was never like. I have like I I was never in love with like an artist. I never liked an artist. I never fangirled over anyone yeah. except There was two things that Shine liked. I have two albums or two CDs. What are they? Um Eminem. Okay. And this was from when I was like 9. So I'm just like, yeah, "Who let Shine me have that?" Young. And then I have the <laughs> soundtrack to the Players Club movie. And what? The soundtrack to the Players Club movie. Okay. And I only listened to one song on there, but what those are the, song? I don't even remember, but those were the only oh, no. two CDs that I've ever owned in my life. Interesting. I don't have Apple Music. So can I take you, I put you on my Interesting. plan. You Isn't put I... me on your plan and then I think I deleted it, but I think I just put it back on there. You're just I got... not, you just don't, it's not something that. 
It used to give me headaches, and I think it was because when I was younger, I was really trying to, like, listen to the music, and I feel like because of the way my brain worked, that shit was like, turn this shit off. Like, we can't understand this shit. Like, we're not processing it as fast as you think we are, and your head is starting to hurt. So I really do think that, like, it just, from as a kid, it gave me headaches. So Until an adult, yeah. you're just like, I don't want that headache. It's just now I'm just not, like, super into it. Like, I know some people who have to listen to music to drive or have to listen to music to clean or listen to music to do this yeah, or listen me. to this or do this. I don't have to do that. She doesn't. However, there have been a few times where we'll get in the car and Shine will play some song. And I'll be and like... everyone's like... <gasps> I'll be like... <gasps> Shit, she's, she's playing, playing music. She's playing on a song. <laughs> and it'll be some song I've literally never heard of, and she will know it word for word. So I'm like, this little girl, I'm like, you listen to something somewhere. That's like, what I'm thinking because something you have, you, it you still comes know, to you. You know words to songs. Because like, I have to sit word there and word. learn the words so that it no, doesn't. You don't. I do. Do you really? Do you yeah, sit there so and that read the lyrics? I read the lyrics because oh, then the lyrics it doesn't the make passenger. my head hurt. So you can understand what they're saying to you. Yes. It's very strange, but I have a very weird relationship with music. And then I realized that Zach, he <clears throat> likes music. He's yeah, into that's music. What I was about to say. But he's not like some huge music guy either. Like he doesn't have like playlists or albums or anything. So Shannon, like, do you have playlists? For our wedding. I don't have playlists. They kept on asking random... us for music and we're like, I don't know. They music. were like, hey, guys, what do we listen to? <laughs> That's <laughs> me. Us. I guess, like, I'll play the music if I think about a song, like, back in the day or, like, now. Or, like, it just comes in my head and then I have to listen to it. Mm. Like, I have to get it out of my head. I get that. I mean, I don't get that, but I can but, yeah. understand that. So, like, I don't have a, I don't have playlists. I don't have, like, so my music is all scrambled up. So if I just shuffle my music, you're going to get Spice Girls and then you're going to get back well, that ass I was going to say, you could get Spice Girls. I still have Spice Girls in mind. So it's going to literally, be like some or it's going to be song. like, yeah, it's going to be gospel or it's going to be Wonder Wall. Here's like so, some Parker into music. French song. Parker loves music. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Parker. Ghost? Yes, <laughs> Par Parker does love music. He loves all ranges of music from jazz to... Um, yeah, to rock. So he loves he loves music, yeah. and right. I think that comes from my dad because my yeah. dad always plays music when he's cleaning the yard. He'll blast. Yeah, he'll blast it <clears throat> outside. He'll you know, and that's the thing. I've been like, those we grew people. up on music, yes. like with real instruments. Like, but I just can't get it. I'm not. That's interesting. I don't have to. So your car is silent. Yeah, my car ninety percent of the time my there. car is silent. Unless like I have other people in the car, then I'll turn stuff on for people because I'm. Yeah. I don't have to drive in silence, but but that's I what prefer you do. it. But then like I'll pick up Ryder from school, and her and Ayla will like give me like songs I want to hear, and I'm over there on YouTube trying to search the freaking songs and <laughs> raining tacos. There's so Surprise many random song. songs for these kids, and I'm just like, these songs are freaking terrible. But I'm like, <laughs> whatever, I'm not about to argue with you guys. So I'm in the car playing these songs, and then one day they requested, I think it was Ayla, she requested one song, and that thing was talking about drop your booty down, and I was like, what in the hell? <laughs> She's like, it's a TikTok dance. I'm like, yeah, see, no. we're going to ride in silence uh -uh. now. Y'all done, y all done, done messed, messed it, it up. No. You're like, we are not dropping no booties. No, and then Zach has like maybe like 10 songs in rotation that he plays. <laughs> like a good 10. And that's pretty much all we hear in our house. I love not that. A good and 10. Bad Bunny. And, and Bad, Bad Bunny. Bunny. On repeat. Yeah. I love that. But Bad Ace Bunny. only likes like very, I think he likes like two Bad Bunny songs. So like. When we ask Alexa to play Bad Bunny, I have to keep on going. The next one, like the next one, until yeah. like it's his two songs, nothing so else. Funny. No, so, yeah, I was never like a. I have to like. I'm dying to go to this person's concert. That's. Mm -mm. I I see that because I have never died to go to anyone's concert. I have never died, but I've gone to plenty of concerts. I, like, You know what? I I've really been have. Concerts. I've been to concerts, but I haven't. I don't think I've gone to somebody's concert that I like was like, oh my gosh, with. I need to Where go. Where you're like screaming. Like, ah! Yeah, no. 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 Never. Mm -hmm. I've like never saved up for a concert. I've been like, I'm But then when people go, I'm like, damn, advance. that looked hella fun. Yeah. Like when people went to the SZA concert, I'm like, fuck, I would have. I you know, couldn't tell you one SZA song. I was just listening to this uh, this morning because I was in my feels, but yeah. Your feels about what? You know. No, I don't know. You Indulge know. Indulge us. 
About like, what? Sh- What's no. going on, Shannon? Ah! Oh. <laughs> Shannon, are you dating right now? People keep on asking me, and I'm like, I haven't checked. Um, <laughs> yeah. It's it's complicated. <laughs> That's what does what that is. even mean? I think complicated means that I feel like I choose people that are not just all in. So I feel like I'm always, and I'm a lover. And when I love somebody, I love way too freaking hard. And then I fall in love too fast. I was just about to say, do you, I are you, fall, do you fall quick? I fall quick. And then when I do fall quick, it's like game over. Cause then you showed my, all your cards. I show a lot of my cards, but I think mm. the older I've gotten, the more I'm aware that it happens to me. So then I kind of back, I back, I back back. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Because I don't want to. Reality kind of sets in, and then you're like, oh, wait, this is. Let me. This is what's going on. Because I already know. Like, I'm 33. So, like, I know how I am. I'm like, I'm a lover girl. But let me, you know, balance it out. Have you always been that way? Or do you think that because of your age and like the pressure that you internally put on yourself to like want to be married, to have another baby, do you fall in love quicker to get to your goal? Um, That's an interesting question. That is an interesting question. I don't think so because I also have in the back of my head that I'm, it's going to sound so sad, girl, and I always say this to people, but like, I feel like I've gotten to my head that I might just be that single person forever. That was very sad, girl. <laughs> Let me pull out my tiny violin for a second. I can't even I lie. Know. I'm looking at you and I, I'm like, okay. Mm, and whenever I say that out loud, people are like, no, I don't see it. Shut up. I have yeah. that thought all the time. And then I'm like, that sounds crazy. It I am sound, not going to be by myself. Do you know how myself. many people there are in this world? There's a lot. And then, then I have to think about that. And then I have to think about how amazing of a woman and mother yes. is. Yes. Yes. How great of a catch yes. I am. Like, yes. You just have to put yourself I'm, out there. Like I do. And I think at this point, when people tell me that, like I'm just like, no. like I'm over putting myself out there because when I put myself out there. What have you got in return? What does that look Exactly. Like? It's also but, what does putting yourself out there look like? Because I'm a praying woman, I think that I just need to continue to pray for my husband. I need to continue to pray for what I want in a man, Mm -hmm. what I deserve, what Parker deserves. And I believe that God is continuing setting me up for the best. And I know I just said the most sad girl shit of saying that I might be single forever, but... At the same time, I go back and forth in my head like, you know what? I could be content with that. But then at the same time, I know I'd be the most amazing wife, the most amazing partner, because who wouldn't want me? (laughs) (laughs) Not the who wouldn't want me part. I thought you were going to end with like some inspirational (laughs) shit (laughs) or like a mic's drop type moment. I am beyond excited to start cooking my creamy mac and cheese and my caraway pots this summer. Caraway cookware is non-toxic and chemical-free, so you can fill your summer with the favorite recipes without worrying. It makes it so easy using caraway pots because it's so easy to clean up. Don't miss Caraway Summer Refresh event from June 20th to July 15th. For a limited time, get 10% off site-wide on the internet's favorite kitchenware. It's a perfect time to take care of all your summer gifting, ideal for graduates and newlyweds. With cookware, bakeware, food storage, and tea kettles to choose from, there's something for everyone. Caraway's internet-famous kitchenware is a staple for any home and comes in various modern shades to fit with any design aesthetics. Caraway's non-stick, chemical-free ceramic coating makes for easy cooking and cleanup. Non-stick kitchenware means food can be prepared with peace of mind that no hard-to-pronounce chemicals will leach into your healthy ingredients. All sets come equipped with complimentary, easy-access storage solutions to keep the kitchen tidy. 
Visit carawayhome.com slash TLC to take advantage of this limited time offer for 10% off your next purchase. This deal is exclusive for our listeners, so visit carawayhome.com slash TLC or use code TLC at checkout. Caraway, non-toxic cookware made modern. You know, it's crazy because I always try to, I, I don't always think about it this, but I do think about if I didn't have Zach mm-hmm. and if I was single right now and it was just me and Ryder, what would dating look like? And I watch you guys date, you yeah. know, and I wouldn't, you're saying put yourself out there. That's I wouldn't scary. even know where to go to it's put hard. myself out there. Exactly. Like, at these you know, times, that's, why like, that's why I asked that because it's like, that's a challenge for mine where it's like, I don't want to just have to be online. I would love to be like, Here's a referral or like, here's a good fan. Not a referral. Here's a referral to a man. Yeah, no, Um, when I say a referral, like, you know, the guy friends who have single friends who may be in like the same kind of environment or mindset or, um, yeah, not literally like, oh, here's a referral, but just like, hey, like, yeah, I think I would go to like France. I think I would go to somewhere else. <laughs> I'm not even lying. Like I really I think you. that I would just be like, be like I'm I'm I would ask my other single friend and be like, let's just take let's like a two girls week, trip. three week trip, and just go out into the world and see what experience. Some maybe your man is love. in Italy. Like that part. Amen. Hey, maybe he is in Italy. Right. So, do you have to find a man in LA? No. no. Would it be way <laughs> more said, no. convenient? Yeah, but I still think there's so many people on this freaking planet that there's no way in hell mm-hmm. that you're going to be single for the rest of your life. No, that's true. So I like because that you're the, praying for this person because yeah. it's like we have to manifest these people too for ourselves and like we have to speak the energy that we want and them that's essentially gonna like we're pouring into ourselves yes. but they're also gonna pour into us so it's i love that you started off with i'm a praying woman because i think that's fundamentally yeah i you think gotta... you have to have faith in yeah sometimes i'm a sad girl and in my feels but at the same time i know that god has a plan for me and whatever that plan is i know it's going to be beautiful to say that and to say that I'm dating, yes, um, there's somebody I'm talking to, and he. Hold on, whole time there's somebody you're talking to, and we're talking about being well, a, I mean, a single woman for the rest of our lives. <laughs> but at the same time, I said that the this like it's a. Are you falling it's quick? It's complicated. But are you falling quick? Eh, yeah, huh? What happened? Oh, shame. But anyways, um, is he falling as quick as you are? Yeah. Ooh, this is getting well, good. Well, then why is this? So then because, that's not bad. Because it's a complicated situation. There's other variables. There's so many different things within that situation. But okay. anyways, I was going to say, he has made me realize, and he is very vocal, and it's something that I have prayed for in a man, mm-hmm. to show me how great of a woman and how to love me. Yeah. Because I know for you, you've always told me, I want you to have somebody to just love on you and yeah. just be cute and just, like, adore me. Yes. And he has shown me that. So I feel like people have Shut come up. into my I'm life. Like, what? I know. <laughs> people, I feel like people come into my life to show me things. Yes. Rather, it's a long-term or short-term. I feel like that I have prayed for, like, God, the next person, I need that man to just... Love me mm-hmm. and not not tell me how to love them back, love them back or make it hard to love them mm-hmm. or me because I'm such a giving person. People take advantage of that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So don't take advantage of me yeah. because the last person I talked to took full advantage of everything I had to offer mm-hmm. and drained me of that. So this man came in my life and he's like, you're he tells me all the time, you're a queen. You are beautiful. He's like, you don't understand. He's like, how how in the hell are you this single mother? He's like, I don't get it. Yeah. And he has shown me that rather he's going to be long term or not. I he's like, one day we had a conversation. He's like, no matter what, I need you to take from this situation that I hope I showed you what you what more you deserve. 
or what else can be out there? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think exactly. You, like what else? Like, could, there's people that there's men <clears throat> that will do the things that you want them or need them to do. And yes. for like what you're talking about when we were talking about you dating. I do think that you need a man that is going to love you really, really hard yes. to the point where I would think it's annoying. Yeah. But I think that you are that personality where, like, you feed off of that. And you deserve that. Mm-hmm. You don't deserve somebody who's going to be, like, halfway halfway, and not yeah. the cutesy, lovey, do mm-hmm. the baby voice thing with you. Like, you <laughs> you want all that and, and more. You want to be showered. You do. I and do. I feel like in everybody's own way, they want to be showered and whatever it is that they need. Like, I need to be showered in different things than, like, what you would need to be showered yeah. versus Kyle, what she would need to be showered in. But when I see you, I want you to be showered and, like, sm- like smothered with, like, mm-hmm. annoying love. Like, someone who just wants to kiss you the whole time. And, yes. like, you want to do you want to cuddle you want to wrap your legs and do that whole wrap the legs thing <laughs> in like spoon like interlocked you want to i can i literally see that for y'all, you have have y'all ever had a man just put you in a shirt real quick like just no, come in here and just like so be near have you had my that? man's Recently, not big enough to <laughs> put me in a shirt. <laughs> I was thinking like, he yeah, wears a small. No, <laughs> no. Too, but and at you first that. I was like, what? He was like, come here, girl. Like I missed you, and then put me in a shirt, and I was like, for a how second, big is this man? He's tall. And at first I was like, wait, what? But then I was like. <laughs> I'm in your shirt. So <laughs> you're getting loved on right now. Wait, are you dating? I have. Ah, she has a whole. I feel like I'm turning around. Do you have a roster? No, No. I can't do rosters. Oh, I thought you were going to say she has a whole roster. I'm like, tell us more. Y'all know I don't do rosters. I'll entertain a roster for like two days, and then I'm like, cool, this is too much for me, and then I like retreat. Um, But I have like a friend right now. Like, it's still early stages, but like they've been feeding and watering me in ways that I've been wanting. So I I get it when you say like you want like – the smothering to the point of annoyance yeah. is like that's, that's what, what you I'm, need right now. Yeah, yeah, but it's like I feel like so for me personally, I feel like I have this whole garden mm-hmm. that's just like been running wild, and I someone need someone to help like rather than like water me, it's like maintain it, let's trim do it, some, and clean right, it up. Yeah, let's that's clean. Like here's some like cleaning. Like look, I see you're purging over there. Here's some new tools. Like here's a here's my tractor. Like we're just gonna, oh. we're just gonna like why are we mowing release the, that. Why are we mowing the no. garden? Why are we mowing the because flowers? We're not mowing the flowers. <laughs> we are I just tending. see this beautiful field right. of flowers. I have a picture in like a rose bed. Me too. I'm and then show I picture you. this big guy no. with a t-shirt. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Bear with me for a second. You've got your rose garden. You've got this. You've got that. But then there's just like this secret garden in the back that I I don't let anyone see. Okay. And they're like, I see that secret garden, and we're gonna clean up that secret garden. And like, let's, I see that you're building. So, all in these your beautiful own way, things. you're saying that he's breaking down walls. Yeah. Cute. I love that for you. Yeah. That I, was it. Yeah. You, that was it. The way you explained it was a little different. Hey, than what my, I used my brain to, works different too. But so. I think you're trying to say that he's just breaking down walls. He's breaking down walls, walls, but also like watering and like, here's some like, let me feed or let me enhance over here and so he's breaking them down with intention yeah like there's a lot of intention and it's been very like overwhelming but at the same you're not time used to it? i'm so not used to it but i'm like this is literally like what i've written out this is what i'm praying this is like the energy that i'm manifesting and i didn't think it was it could be real yeah you know i didn't think like oh yes I'm like, okay, love is like my birthright. Like, I know it's going to come to me in some shape, form, fashion that God, like the creator, all it has set for me. But I didn't know, like, what does that look like? What does that feel like? Because my idea of love has been, has changed in so many ways, like, the more I live. Yeah. And now that I have children, it has changed even more, like, as a mother. And right now, like, after listening to Remy really speak and talking about her, like, divine connection and all these things, like, there's so much that I've learned from all of you in terms of dating and these relationships, whether it's, like, deepening your relationship with God, self, um, these potential partners. So it's, um, yeah, I feel like the things that I've been asking for or wanting for myself, I'm starting to receive, and it's, well, not starting, I've been receiving it, and it's just, like, 
wait, it's nice. What? Like it's, it's nice, nice to... but at the same time, like I'm still like that baby step in. But also, we have to learn to appreciate what you know what we've asked for. Because yes. if you're gonna ask God for things, you can't just be like, "Wait, hold, hold up. up, hold yeah. up." I didn't yes. mean, I didn't mean it like that. Yeah. Yeah. You you have to receive it's, it. So it's really mm-hmm. nice. Like you. So said. what does what does your prayer sound like? Your prayer. Your prayer. What does oh, it sound like? Oh, my prayer. Like? You guys have both said I'm praying women. I thought you said I'm my praying purr. for my man or my husband. And I feel like a lot of times other women want to know what that sounds like. I think my prayer, I'm not, you know, I'm not going to sit here and say, dear Jesus and all yeah. that stuff. But I think my prayer for my future man is to be somebody in my life. <sighs> That's deep. I feel like say it out loud. I don't think that it's a bad thing to say. No, it's not a bad thing. I think a lot of times people joke around. They're like, I need that Sierra plant. I mean, that Sierra Sierra prayer. prayer. So it's a beautiful, that prayer I want to know for me. What are you guys are putting out to get to what you're going to receive? And I feel like let's, let's talk about what your prayer is. My prayer is to have a, a strong man in my life. Do you have a man, a God-fearing man? Do you have a man that's going to love on me and my son? Do you have a man that is emotionally in tune with himself? Mm -hmm. I need a man who's in tune with his feelings so he can be in tune with mine. I like that. Somebody who's going to balance me out. Somebody that's going to... Pick me up when I'm down and I pick him up when he's down. I need a king in my life. That's what I need. I need... Y'all hear this Shannon prayer. I love it. <laughs> I I need a strong king. I need a man that's going to recognize the woman that I am. Recognize a strong woman that I am, but not try to take away from me, but... I want to, there's a word I want to say because I feel like men try to come into your life and try to tell you what to do. And I already have a foundation, but I just need him to just build with you. Build with my foundation. Mm -hmm. I don't need you to, you know, uh, taunt with it, but I need you to build with me. You have a good mold that you've already created. You don't need to be molded. Exactly. Yes. That right there. I do not want to be molded because I'm already in my mold. Yeah. This is me. Yeah, this is me. But yeah. if you want to like but if you want to help me, you know, uplift me and put me on a pedestal, I'm here for that. I yeah. need to be put on a pedestal. I need to be raised. So let me raise you while you raise like, you know, vice versa. So yeah. I need a I need a strong king in my life. And I have seen that with the person that has come into my life that I know that that is out there that I am worthy. So that is my prayer. And I continue to pray that I continue to um, just want to breathe life into each like that's my need. I just need to breathe. Life. I just imagine Shannon and this man just breathing into each other for a second, like <laughs> not physically, but just like metaphorically, like you just see that flow. Like, yeah. you know, what I, mean? I just see them like just really, like... really <laughs> intertwined. <laughs> And I Shia need said that. They're going to be pretzeled I... together. No, like, you I... know, like, when you sit in front of somebody <laughs> and then you realize that your knees have, like, yeah. like, it's his knee and then your knee and then yes. his knee and your knee. I need a man and you're to that just... close. That's how I picture I... you and this man at the park. At the park. Yeah, like, at the park. Like, like I feel like you guys hugging. are hugging and you're sitting face to face and your knees are, like, <laughs> interlocked. Um, yeah, I just, I, I feel like I've become... I'm becoming softer, but at the same time, I have a huge guard up, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Um, (laughs) I'm sorry. I'm just thinking about how I just said I need a man with a lawnmower tractor to. Yes, girl. And I mean, she were like, "Mm, I don't know if that dude you're trying to say. You just said. I'm so, like, my walls are so built up, but I'm, like, jumping over them. And I'm like, guys, I'm right. Or not guys. Yeah. But, like, I'm right here. Like, I've locked myself in my own little, like, And I think we do that. Castle. It's like, <laughs> have you figured out what your prayer is? 
Um, so for me, even getting to it was how do I get to my prayer? Because like I remember when Sarah's prayer plan prayer came out, it was like, well, I'm just gonna read this verbatim. Then I was like, in the mirror in the car, bitch, you better get your prayer together. And then I was like, oh, you're not a bitch. Like, come on, girl, come on, soft girl, come on, queen, come on, empress. <laughs> I was like talking softer, kinder, like more gentle words to you're myself. Not a bitch. <laughs> the whole voice changed. <laughs> I was like, uh, and then I was like, no, that's not even the okay, energy so wait, that I want. Okay, so what do you mean Hold you're on. trying to work to so, get to no, your no, prayer? I have my prayer now, but that kind of inspired me in that moment where it was like, what is my prayer? What does my prayer look like for myself? What does it look for me and my my children? What does it look like for me and my career? Me and my like the different facets of my world. Like, I was let me build my prayer out. So, when I was doing that, it was really came down to what do I want in my life, like. Mm-hmm. How do I feel? Where do I see myself? Where do I want to go? It wasn't what do I want to contribute to someone else? Because I feel like for so many years, it's always been what am I contributing to other people right? versus like what am I receiving like in terms of those men relationships? Um, so it was what do I so what do I want? I want someone who's going to be in, like aligned with me. Um, not so much. Like you said earlier, men like to, you know, tell you what to do sometimes. Yeah. It's like they naturally, and I get that. So I do want a man who is a leader, but it's like it's leadership that is aligned with like also my plan and my trajectory. It's not, oh, hey, I want to go over here. And I'm like, well, I'm building this way. It's, hey, I see what you're doing. It's aligned with what I'm doing. And it's in line with like who my trajectory, like as my man. And this is where we're going together. So now okay, cool, we're in the same trajectory, we're in that same alignment. Now it's what matters to you? What are your values? What are your principles? Um, What are your morals? Like, what are your models, mantras in life? So I started praying about, like, what I wanted my man to be, like, what his character to embody. So it's, like, um, that balance of that masculine energy, um, the ability to listen and communicate um, that protective and like the security that you receive Mm -hmm. like in a man. And it's not just security like, oh, I can protect you, like get away. But it's like emotionally being mature, available, a safe space. Um, Because I have like, yeah, I'm a person who emotes. I have a lot of emotions, but like I don't have a place to really funnel them into outside of like myself or like my family, which I can't always, you know, that's not, it's not always the answer. It's yeah, not, that's not the answer, you know. Um, so there's a lot that I hold on my own where I'm like, hey, I want someone who's going to be able to help, like, or not Pull it help, out. but be supportive as I'm learning to, like. They become a balance. Yeah. Funnel them out, yeah. So that's that sound yeah. board. Um, someone who is going to say, hey, I know you have these, in, like, these endeavors, like, what is your plan? Like, a lot of people are like, oh, yeah, Kyle's doing whatever, but, like, no one actually knows what I'm really working on. So it's like, I want that best friend element. Like, you know, these are, I want my person, you know? Um, what does my person Your look soulmate. like? soulmate. Yeah, my, my soulmate, my twin flame, my divine connection. Flame. All of this. Like, all of the shit, like, you know? So it's like, I want, you know, someone who's going to match my quirk, someone who's going to match my kink, someone who's going to match my my sexual appetite. Like, I think quirks ooh. is one of the best things because when you yes. and Mez were dating it was mom like, and i what? were like she's so quirky and like <laughs> so yeah. quirky. Like, I'm so so quirky. <laughs> he doesn't. we were no. like mm, we wanted and i would always no. say like how needs to be with somebody who like almost like brings it out more yeah. because yeah, she, you do I, you dim say, it. Like, I am such a fun person and people really don't even like scratch the surface of like i'm a wild card and when I say I'm a wild card, it's not like, oh, I'm wild, like, get your shit together. But it's like, I'm down to go have fun. Like, I'm down to speak with people, try new things. You're very like, quirky. Yeah. You're quirky. Spontaneous. Like, you need somebody I, who um, can bring, not bring it out life. because it's already out, but somebody who doesn't try to, like, make you feel it. bad for it or, yes. like, dim it down. Or, like, girl, don't oh, do that. Oh, and that's like, what yeah. me. Understanding, like. So there's certain things that I have been working through my entire life where it's like I'm aware of it. I'm mindful. Now I can articulate it. And I want someone who, you know, who's going to be supportive of my healing journey versus using it against me or being like, 
well, why? I why, will. why, why? And I'm like, bro, I just gave you a whole full fucking dissertation on why. Like, yeah. you didn't hear, read, you don't, you know, I want someone to care. Um, I will say this. Um, Kyle did meet this person. And she came to my house and she was... The man with the tractor? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Is that not what we're talking about? <laughs> tractor man. The tractor oh, man with well, the. I don't know why my, we're calling him my, tractor man. My, you said he was. Tra- he was. He's he was breaking down these roads. Oh, oh, she rose, my, man. Oh wait, she but met I met my, Shan- I met Shannon's my, friends. Okay, we met Shannon's yes person person uh-huh. when I was sick last week. Oh, and he was. He was at your house when you were sick. Girl, he was playing nurse or yes, doctor. Doctor. Do- doctor. Yeah. Well, he was the doctor. Yeah, you he can't was the doctor Shannon who was face. nursing her to help. He was no. nursing me oh back God. to help, y'all. This but is anyway, too much for me. Kyle, Kyle, <laughs> Kyle came and uh-huh. she had her big personality and she was dancing in my house and I didn't know she, he was going to be there. It either. was the quirky energy <laughs> that she has and just like our yeah. friendship being weird, like yeah. we're yeah, our quirky. <laughs> and what did he think of her? And he texts me right after, and he was like, "You guys are the most beautiful black women I ever seen in my life." Aww. He was like, "Your friend, her energy was pristine. Like she was." He was like, "I love the energy that you guys have with each other." He was like, "I've never seen it that like within such a nice guy, Shannon." Well, was like he <laughs> said, he was like, "I've never seen that within black women." He was like, "I really love to see that." He was like, "You guys are strong black women." Can I ask, is he black? Okay, he's black. Mm -hmm. And I think just seeing, I think um, in the past he didn't date black women, but he's like, black women have such a nurturing charisma about them. He's like, black women really know how to treat their their men. Mm -hmm. I love submission. I want to be able to submit to my man, but like, I need a man who's going to create the environment Mm-hmm. and embody that king, emperor, here's my dynasty, like, energy to even submit to. Because if not, what the fuck are we both doing? Like, that's how yeah. I feel. Like, with the goals that I have, I'm like, no, I can't sit here and play twiddly winks with you anymore. Like, bye. Like, I'm, winks. I'm done with the bullshit. I have more questions point. about these guys. Gosh. So does your guy have kids, Shannon? <laughs> Shannon is like, so, what's yes. going on? And I think <laughs> more than um, one kid? Yes. So More than one, one of, baby mama? No. Okay. So my thing going and dating, I never thought I would want to date a man who had kids. Even though you have a kid. Even though I have a kid. I don't know why. No, I do know why. Okay. Ding, ding. I raised my hand. I do know why. <laughs> I want right. to share my why, too, because I used to feel the same way. My why is because my baby daddy mm-hmm. has different baby mamas. Mm-hmm. And my first interaction with the second one was horrible. So... I never wanted to put myself in that type of situation or be that person where um, the other woman would feel a type of way about me or Mm -hmm. feel like I'm coming into their life, that I'm trying to ruin them Mm -hmm. and all these type of things. Like, I never want that to ever. You had such a bad experience experience. that you weren't willing to put yourself in that situation again. Yeah. I would never want to traumatize a woman. I would never want to make a woman to feel uncomfortable. I was traumatized. I feel like something that's probably yeah. I need to still talk about out loud yeah. to somebody. But um, but then when he came into my life and all these things and all these thoughts in my head, I'm like, I could do this. It doesn't have to be negative. It doesn't have to be negative. And then I'm such an understanding person that I'm like, Hey girl, like let's be friends. Let's let me talk to you. Let yeah. me tell you my story, and maybe you can re- like we can find something to relate can, about. Yeah, and you can find. Yeah. can find. A, can I ask if his kids are older or younger? Um, younger, younger, younger <clears throat> than Parker. Yes. Okay. And that's that was another thing. Like, you know. And then I'm such an under. I don't know. I'm such a person that's like, well, maybe this, and maybe that, and maybe. I have all the what ifs in my head. I'm an overthinker. So like I'm always thinking, I'm always like, are we sure the situation is 
good or like you know are you still trying to make things happen yeah so those are always all my have you asked that question yes i have and apparently they said i hope no they said no okay (laughs) (laughs) but i think the factor is always the what if on the man side if that's a good father of you know what that looks like for him as a father and like what that dynamic is gonna look like Mm mm-hmm does that make sense? Yeah, and I think for me, I would look at how much <coughs> time has it been since maybe if they were in a relationship, yeah. how much time has passed? And what does your co-parenting look like right now without me even in the situation? Right. tell a lot to their situation before you even get involved. Even get in that situation, yeah. Mm-hmm. So I think that's where I say it's complicated. Yeah, I agree. Mm-hmm. So I think that's where I'm. In it's a, complicated, but it's still something that can be figured out. Yes. yes. So don't I think, be so quick to be stuck on the I, complications I, that you take something away from yourself that can yeah. be really good and life changing. I was gonna say yeah. I feel like it's only complicated because that time is still being developed. Like yeah. you're still learning the full like yeah picture. So and I think it's still I fresh. Yeah. I think it's still. I think it's still fresh. I think there's still you know, we still have things to build. We, it, you know, and I'm, that's where I comes in with me saying to myself, slow down mm-hmm. with like my thought process and with me loving. This it's person. hard when you get something that you want, you've been praying on and then you yes. have it. And then you're like, oh shit, I still have to make this work. Or I still have to like, we still have, you have to, to do it the right way. Yeah. Our worlds together. Like, we can't skip a. We can't skip. You can't the skip steps. steps. Yeah. You can't. And I think, especially coming back to my age, I know age really doesn't matter. But for me, I feel like there's a slight pressure I put on myself. So, mm-hmm. um, yeah, I will say that. Like, I put a lot of pressure on myself because is I, he older or younger uh, than you? A little younger than me, maybe a year, two okay. years younger. Okay. Kyle, does a tractor man have kids? <laughs> Not Tractor Man. She has but she literally said, to call him that. He's, he's, mowing, he's mowing these walls right. down. So d- we're not no, naming not like names. That. that sounded wild. We're um, not naming maybe, names, like, so I heart, had to call him heart, something. Well, maybe his, so he is he mowing your kids? lawn down. Um, he your does walls have- down. <laughs> not your lawn, but your... Mm. Not mowing my lawn. Maybe your is your lawn um, hairy? Okay, let's <laughs> let's focus, ladies. We're doing great. <laughs> Let's let's bring it back in. I, I'm enjoying this conversation. This is funny. Um, he does have kids. He has a daughter. Okay, who is older, okay. and that is also this is the one thing that I'm like. Hold on. Yes, he's older than you. He's a year older than me. He's a Libra, like y'all. Ooh, yeah, it's very interesting. <laughs> I'm gonna say this: Ooh. Libra men are different. They, they are. are. They're not like us. No. Um, oh, okay, so he has an older daughter. Yes. Older as in? Like around 10. Okay, so that's a long co-parenting. It's a long situation. There's a lot of history there that I'm learning, mm-hmm. and it's been like a rocky history from like the start. So mm-hmm. it's also, this is where I feel like in my prayers, I have not been clear about the whole kid situation or them having a kid where I'm like, oh, I need a, I'm constantly like refining my, and my that's prayers. Okay. Yeah. I because think you're always going to have to. I've well, dated okay. men <laughs> without, but like in the past, with and without. Mm-hmm. And I've, my first situation where I was dating a man who had children, I'm still, that was 10 years ago and I'm still friends with their mom I had a very different experience so like I used to be like oh I actually want someone now that I have kids I want someone who has children because they can understand like my schedule or that balance but now that I'm like in it part of me is kind of going back to I don't think I want someone or I want to be open or try a man who does not have children Mm -hmm. um because I have a whole world that I enjoy and I have tried to, I gave up my whole world that I enjoy to go try someone else's world, which was like. You don't see that there's a way that these two worlds can be combined? I'm working on this. So, I was just in the wrong world. Okay. That, that, That last world I tried working on. Yeah. So, now it's how do I bring like you said, bring my worlds together. Mm-hmm. So, yes, homie does have 
um not homie i'm not gonna call him homie i, I like, like tractor guy but i like tractor guy too um <laughs> tractor man does have a child it does seem to be complicated a little more complicated than you would like i would like mm -hmm. however it does not scare me because i've been in complicated before with children and i was able to bring clarity how um, does he feel about your situation because you it would be interesting to hear if he's having the same discussion with his, with friends, his friends and he's like, like it's, it's a little bit more complicated. He said she got then two. I, would like, <laughs> I have two. I do and have two. And he, they're across the country. Or, or they're not across the country, but my I, my partner, my co-parent. Yeah. yeah. My, yeah. Which causes other complications. Other Which complications. causes different. And your youngest is young. But it's, and my youngest is young. So it's always like that time. Or are you actually over or like, yeah. are yeah. you just yes. fake over? So uh -huh. it's. That's interesting. Okay. It's, um, there's those things. And it's also like, um, I feel like, well, I'm in recovery mode from my last relationship, you know, right. just as a parent. Do you back start to LA. off with talking to people and say that, like, I'm recovering from my last relationship? I choose to be transparent and yeah. open just because I'm like, I want someone who's going to be transparent and open with me. Mm -hmm. And like, I don't want to walk into a situation and thinking something. And then it's like, remember that secret garden I was talking about? Yeah. It's fucked up. And then I'm like... <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, this is what we're really dealing with. I'd rather yeah. like give me that choice. Let me see what we're really dealing with. Um, so that's why I'm also like in this like slow down, like in reality terms, but emotionally or like mentally, like my head is like a kid in a fucking candy store right now. Cause yeah. I'm just Yay! I'm so stimulated and like I'm being watered in areas that have been like Left dry. Barren. Like, damn, I didn't even know. I think that's the hard part when you go for <sighs> so long being left dry or not stimulated in certain ways from a partner or from a man. Yeah. Yeah. That when you finally get it, you're just so into it that you can kind of be blind to, to other, other things, things. that yeah. may yes. be red flags. And or that is things why that like, are like, mm, I've already done this, and I, you feel really good, and you're making me feel really good, but this still isn't it. it yeah. Right. That's not what yeah. I need so it's in like, my life. That's hard, that, though. That is I hard. I can't close myself off to the option or possibilities of, like, what else is out there, I feel. Because I've always, I've never been good with a roster. Like, I've never, I, my mom teases me because I have admirers. I did well, that like, last year. I don't, I'm not <laughs> Shit, juggling like life. men around. I don't have time. I don't have the energy. Yeah. Like, what? Oh, I called your mom the wrong mom. Like, I think I'm you should just be that. open to dating I'm just and not to... making anything exclusive. Yes. Yeah. So there's another person I'm talking to, and I'm actually like, they have no children. Um, and well, he has no, ch no, he doesn't have a child. And I'm, I called him they. I'm trying to figure out which one this is. Are they watering you the same way? Did we meet this one? No. Oh. Oh. She's talking about she don't got a roster, but she this sounds got like a whole, a whole fucking roster. roster because Kyle's okay, lying. Right. Because in my head, I'm thinking I'm of thinking of like two other people. So. <laughs> Y'all, don't let this girl fool you. <laughs> she, she, she has, has a roster. <laughs> I definitely don't have a roster. But not everybody gets the same me, then. I you think know? you live in, like, 500 different worlds. I really do. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> have the we, other day. No, y'all, I've been getting some really interesting questions Kyle this round lives. of dating in my life that I've ever gotten before. And then I'm like, is this what's going out on the streets? Like, what? Are like these, what? Okay, so before when I would like be dating or whatever, like pol polygamous, like polygamy families or polyandry, like uh -huh. poly families never really came up. Like all these guys now are like, are you bi? Curious, like what's going on? And I'm like, what? Like, um, huh? that's different. You know, some men who like the children thing is a big factor where it's like, okay, you have kids, your baby daddy's out over there, like. How does this work? And you're talking about you want to move overseas in your life. Like, tell me how this is actually all going to work. Like, yeah. Um, Girl, you have a roster. Oh. <laughs> I Okay, I'm, whatever. I'm... Fuck it. I got a roster. Um, <laughs> so, Girl, I was talking about all these men. Girl. I, I think you're so having hard. fun. I'm having fun. fun. It's hard because like, I, I do not like to give my Instagram out. 
Um, cause like I want people to actually get to know me like right now and not like but be associated barely... with my like my world. So if I fuck with you, like you know, I ran I invited somebody over for Easter. Y'all know that. Um, she did invite she someone did. over for Easter. Yeah, we were all shocked. We were all looking at him. I was shocked too. And then we were in beer pong, and it was great. And I was like, "Fuck yeah, this was a good day for me." I don't Zach give a damn. Zach turned around and said, "Who is this nigga in our house? <laughs> <laughs> who is this man Harpo? <laughs> Harpo, Not who, who is this is? man Harpo? <laughs> Harpo, who is? Yeah, I think I'm just right now, just like I was like, I don't know, babe. I'm happy. Don't know, babe. Don't talk to your sister in law. <laughs> I'm having. I was fun. sinking in my chair. <laughs> but no, there are some very serious men out there. There are some men who are like, "What is your timeline?" And I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> "What's your timeline?" Like, you know. I think that the best thing <sighs> that I've heard today. I've, I've heard a lot of good things. I take that back because they're going to be like, she's a bitch. She only said one thing. I think it was something that Shannon said of throughout all of this of like dating and living and being mothers and figuring things out. You're at this place right now that you have figured out and you know what you deserve. Mm -hmm. And I think that is amazing. To Thank know you. not only how yeah. beautiful you are, but internally what you guys deserve. And it's, you guys both sound like you got your prayers. They're a little staggering. I mean, Kyle's is a little staggering. Well, I'm <laughs> also like in this land of like, you're I'm figuring, still figuring it out. It out what but I exactly think I that want. I feel like just realizing to me, you have to realize what your worth is first yes, and you your self-worth and your self-love and who you are away from all this other shit, away from all your other titles, away from all your job titles, all your mother all titles, it, yeah. all your family titles. If you strip everything, who are you? That's so real. And what do you deserve? Mm -hmm. What do you think you deserve? And what are you putting out what to does get that? that? Look what like? does that look like? What does that look like? And I, yeah. Oh, yeah. My man has to invest in me, too. That's what I want. I want a man who's going to invest. <laughs> and not just like when I say invest, that's not just financially. Like, that's like, no, mentally, I get it. Like, yeah. We're investing. We're building. Investing Kyle, I want you <sighs> to go home and write my shit down. And write it all down. I, I have it written down. down. I want you no, to but, write it all down. Do you want to hear? Like, I have no, a lot I don't want to hear it right no, now. No, not right want, now. Yeah, I, I would just, be like, oh my God. I remember mom told me I one day go and write your list. And realize the further you get into your relationship, now the further you get into your marriage, look at how your list changes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or how things that at one point in your life and during a season were a priority to you, those things might shift. And your number one might go down to number six. Your number six mm -hmm. might go to number, number three. One. And it just might just it will change. And, and if it's not changing, then reevaluate what you're yeah. doing because... You or, change, you grow. Yeah. Exactly. As a woman, you're growing. All the time. And if your mate hasn't figured out how to grow with you. Or just how to grow, period. Th but God. I'm married, so I need yeah. you to grow with We're me. Growing. I need you to understand where I'm Yeah, where I'm or going, you're going to get left over here, and I'm going to be over here. And it's Kyle was saying, like, the alignment. Like, your alignment is so important. That but trajectory. I think the first thing is just understanding what, what you deserve mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. realizing that just because something feels good in that moment doesn't mean it's doesn't gonna last mean forever. that it's for you. Yeah. Yep. Because yeah. So, I think yeah, I guess I do have a roster. I know some of you guys might listen to this podcast episode, but just no. <laughs> you mean like the guy on your roster? They always ask and I'm always like mm -mm. <laughs> Is that uh -huh. why you're turning red right now? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm so red. I know some of them I listen. I definitely know the Not guy. Not some, but like one of them listens, like faithfully has been. Which one? Is it Tractor Man? No. <laughs> <laughs> I am out of my chair. So to whoever is listening that may or may not be on Kyle's roster, uh -huh. what's up? <laughs> How you doing? What's up? No, but are you watering hey, her garden? Here's the thing: you're dating. You're single. You're, you're not single. exclusive you're not, to anyone. I know. You're not married. You're dating. Have a ring on your finger. Oh, it's right. scary. Someone did give me a, a ring. 
I not know. on my finger. They gave me one of their rings. Yeah, it, it was, was like it was a diamond ring, dude. Like girl. wear it on your neck or put it on a finger. Getting... It was a chunky ring. <laughs> is this which one is this? The tractor. The <laughs> Did you accept the ring? I have it. Or he's getting a chain. I don't know what I'm doing. She I'm out here to having make fun. me scratch my ponytail <laughs> off. Bitch. I, <laughs> I'm dead. I thought, what, you, did you not remember Kyle talking about, I'm just going slow. <laughs> I'm just going, I'm going so slow. Now she's talking about, he gave me a ring. <laughs> what? I'm sweating I was, so hard I was right waiting now for her to tell shirt. you that. <sighs> what does the ring symbolize? Can I tell her? Yeah, what did you get? <laughs> what does the ring symbolize? Can I can I tell her what it symbolizes? This man wants to fucking marry her. No. How long have we been dating Tractor Man? Because I've only Not heard long enough no, he about yeah. him like He said a this few weeks. ring is symbolizing. This is an oath to like commitment. Like we're figuring things out and building. Right. So if you accept that ring, you realize that that's like we're dating exclusively. I know. I'm not having sex out here. No, no, no. Like, I didn't say anything about sex, sex, Kyle. I said if you accept a ring from somebody saying this is an oath to commitment, that's an them basically you. being a grown man you, girl. and saying you are my girlfriend. We are exclusive. You just did a whole podcast about Save the roster it. that you had. So <laughs> you went from I don't have a roster to... I think you should step back before you let this man give you a ring. This all happened like last week and it's a lot. I'm, I'm processing. I think you have to... I think you need to put the brakes on. I keep on. telling everyone my kids are still here. My So my kids are going to D.C. with their dad for the summer. And now I'm scared because when they leave you're going to have too much like, free time. <laughs> no. And I keep telling them this is my current mission. Like this is what I need to get done. This is where I am in life. So... You're telling the him and the other him and the other him <laughs> and then one more him and the <laughs> other him. She gonna throw in a her in a second. <laughs> <laughs> There's no her this round, you guys. There's not no this her. Round. I love it. Kyle. I'm not kidding. Do not accept that man's ring until you are ready to be exclusive. She and it does. It. I made an oath back. <laughs> Something's wrong with me. Cancel the podcast. <laughs> Cancel the podcast. No, I'm just teasing. I'm out here having a good time. Did, <laughs> so did you accept the ring? Yes or no? Can I show you? Show me the ring. <laughs> did you accept the ring? Yes, she it's said, in my possession. She's. You just lied and said you no, he's getting it fixed. No. Can you I show her the picture? Yeah, you can. Um, How are you gonna accept this man's oath? And you're you just said I'm not exclusive. I didn't say I'm not exclusive. You did. I didn't say I was or I wasn't. That's interesting. It's interesting. It's not really it's your not style. It's no, not it her isn't. style. Okay. I'm still. On, it's still. Nothing has like gone down. Kyle, this has gone down. What do you mean nothing has gone down? I love This man you. just gave okay. you a fat ass ring and you're talking about nothing has gone Excuse down. Me, that is not a new ring. That is one of his old rings. There's there that's nice and a very much appreciated. Right, but I and really think that in his it head is a to us like yes, building and getting no, to know each other. No, that is a right commitment now. to each other. Okay. It's okay, Kyle. Take a second and realize I what you, you're girl. doing. Take a second. Realize what you're doing, what you're accepting into your Keep life. Saying, hold on. He's like, girl, you acted skeptical. And I'm like, yeah, this is a lot. Yeah. It is a lot. Because how long have you guys been dating? <clears throat> Not long enough. It is crazy. Not long enough. But like hey, when I'm I say all for like fast love, but that's I am only too. if if it's you're like, if you're into just it. as into it in oh no when I like when it's there it's there it's like ooh like it's on like the right connection the connection is there, connection is there. and I was for a while I was nervous so I was like oh my gosh what if I'm building this connection with this person and like when we're in front of each other it's like I feel it, nothing 
But that's not the case. That's not the case at all. Like You could just feel like you're melting into somebody. Yeah, I just like, think that before you start accepting things like rings, which could be somebody's and true. And you know, I don't accept things from people. But my like, thing is just like, like you can... Shy is that, in sister mode. That Shia's person like, is no. genuinely committed. It, uh, you just told us about your goddamn roster. Like I know. Well, I'm not like he's the only person I've like I'm actually seeing in person. Like I don't the other people are just like, okay, bye. Uh, other people are what, pin pals? No, they're not like pin pals. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. No, but I've also been like busy working. Like it's like you know you get in where you can fit in. Um. <laughs> I love you, Kyle, so much. I love you. I, I think we should stop because I think you're digging yourself in a hole. Nah, I just gotta keep them guessing. But I liked where Cheyenne was going before <laughs> we went into this. Face. I think I'll give I'm you guys an update in on like the ring a few weeks. Yes, you know we we'll come back. Give to that this. man that ring back <laughs> and say. I think that you should hold on to this while we continue to build. We can still have an oath to each other. And you made oath, an oath is basically he's walking around saying he has a girlfriend. That's exclusive. Are you walking around saying I have a boyfriend? I'm seeing someone. Your man. Can somebody play the tape? Can somebody <laughs> rewind and play Your the girl. tape? <laughs> I can't wait for somebody to play this goddamn tape <laughs> <laughs> from the beginning. <laughs> Travis! <laughs> play the tape. <laughs> are we all in the same room? Did Guys. we all hear the same conversation? Okay, did you ever see that show? Uh, Don't deflect. The Spike Lee movie where she invited them all over for dinner. Do you want to do Thanksgiving? that? Thanksgiving? I've thought about doing that before. You just want all of the guys and that you're talking like, to. Who wants me more? Duke it out. <laughs> fight. Fight right now. Fight for my fight. ass. <laughs> fight to the death. <laughs> fight How to much the death. you want me? Whoever Show me. Still alive. <laughs> you and me. <laughs> That's what you want to do? I'm like, what kind of houses do you like? What kind of houses do you like? What kind of houses do you like? Oh, cool. We're both on number four. Bet. Just kidding. But some of the conversations are, you? are like that. I don't think you're kidding. No, I just I said some of them. Oh. Like, I'm just like, I'm literally like, Yo, do you, Kyle are you lives my profile in my own world? A lot of different lives, okay? Yeah. I just would like everyone to know that. And I'm not saying that in like a mean way. No. Because she have, knows it. I honestly feel like I live in, I've said it before, like a multiverse where it's I like, think you do. these are my little worlds. I don't like, think you're here. And I think that's the hardest <laughs> thing for me because I'm like, how do I bring everything? I'm leaving. <laughs> How do I bring everything to one space? <laughs> I'm going home. <laughs> I'm going home to my one my one world. <laughs> I'm going home. And that's you also part know of it. You're tapped into my world today. I am. I've had too many worlds where like, it. no, now I'm like, I actually want what to What happens have a, when the worlds collide? I want a... Mo- Ooh, that's a good question. They are she stopped. all still she said, done, like, respectfully, where some of them know about each other. Like, I've had conversations. Does Tractor Man know that you're pin palling or talking to other men? Because I'm going to say no. Let him know that I was Oh, you're going to let him know. You're going to no, let him know. I told him I was dating, but then, damn it, he was like, nah, you mine. And then uh, he gave you a you ring said, with okay. an oath to commitment to you each said, other. Okay, I'm yours. <laughs> Guys, it's, okay. it's only been a few days. I'm still fresh in this. <laughs> <laughs> I only just gave my oath a week ago. <laughs> I didn't say oath starts now. <laughs> I just said, I didn't okay. Say. I didn't say the oath starts no, right now. Like, when is, what is later. When is the the oath look starts like. in two weeks. We don't live together. We haven't, like, it's still freshly new. How far like, does girl? he live from you? Like an hour. Why are you smiling so hard? She, that's her man. How far does he live from me? Further. I'm he trying was, to he's the opposite direction of you. Oh, okay. Yeah. This is what this opposite is direction? In my direction, her more past, past you. This sounds far. Yeah. This sounds far. <laughs> I think we all learned a lot today, guys. Yes. Ooh. Um, are we doing words of advice and WTFs? I think you are my WTF. <laughs> I can't even lie. Because <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I just genuinely want you 
when this comes out on Monday, I want you to listen to it. It, all by yourself with no distractions. I just want to hear you. I will be able listen to because my it kids will be gone from the beginning to the end. All right. I just want to make sure you listen to it from the beginning to the end. Guys, I think I'm still embracing like what I've been asking for, and I'm just like, oh, it's here, and I'm like, it's a lot. You don't. It's coming at different ways. It's coming like really but, ooh, fast. I ooh, need to put a face ooh. to this ring. Can we pull up a picture right. before we do WTFs? And uh, advice. Can you just pull up a picture? I just want to see who we're talking about. I, I saw the Easter man. I've you seen see the other man. man. I just want to see what this man looks like. The other man was not a a dating man. What other man? <laughs> 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 well, other man was not a dating man. Girl, you confusing my fucking brain. I just, I just want to see Tractor Man. And um, oh, you know what? There's the one thing that I don't. Here, I'm a, I just took you a picture. Oh, hold on. With Tractor <sighs> Man, y'all, it's like the one thing I truly, really love: pretty teeth. And I wouldn't say that right now. He doesn't have pretty teeth. Are you sure he doesn't listen to this? His teeth look nice. But no. this is also like a picture that looks like it was taken on like an Android 10 years ago. This is the only picture you have. Let me see. No, I have more pictures. <laughs> this is like a <laughs> selfie. <laughs> Y'all, the angle is like he's either laying on the bed and taking it from above or he took it from down below and it looks like it was taken on like a razor phone from not a razor 2006. phone. 2006. Kyle, yeah. why are you sending this picture? You know you got a cuter picture. I just I'm sending them to you. Okay, there we go. There's a picture from the front. Front, back, side to side. <laughs> All right, Let everybody. <laughs> everybody. I see the other picture. I just want everybody to say a quick prayer for my good sister. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> just wherever you're at right now, this is my... <laughs> I'm going to take this this time right here, count it as my WTF slash advice. I just want everybody to and stop. And you, when she... I just want everybody to stop wherever you're at, wherever you're listening to this podcast right now. I just want you to close you to refer? your eyes and just lift Not your hands. Not adding to her roster. She said, do you have a friend to close refer? Close your eyes and just lift your hands <laughs> and signal good vibes to Kyle Lynn. We're all going to pray for her in this moment. We're going to pray for clarity, okay? We're going to pray for Not resilience. <laughs> yeah. We're going to pray for her 500 That's worlds. Not. We're going to pray. <laughs> <laughs> we're just gonna pray for her right now wherever you're at just stop what you're doing and pray okay that's all i'm gonna say Why she has her hands up we She's need to really just stop and pray for, for her my prayers yes thank you god you. i love you too. amen amen kylan you are one of my top three favorite people in the whole wide world. I just want to tell I you will that. I keep everyone guessing. And then guess what? I'll pop <laughs> I up. I never expected that. I just <laughs> I'll pop up married one day to someone completely fresh and new. And they'll be like, are you going to return I the ring? I was actually thinking about that. I was thinking about that the other day. I said, Kyle's going to fuck around and get married before me just because... This fucking roster and the way she moves, I just feel like... Watch it be the opposite of this. No. She's not gonna... She told me... No. She's like, y'all like them light-skinned men. <laughs> I wasn't going that way. Oh. No. Oh. Like a woman? I wasn't going that way either. Oh. I'm just gonna keep my <laughs> thoughts to myself. Shannon, do you have a WTF for advice for this Nana week? Nana says that I just need to find a billionaire and that's the only way I'm ever gonna be happy or satisfied in life. And I'm like, what does that mean? Mm. I'm not gonna tell you what they say behind your back. Anyway, Nana, she, <laughs> Nana and Mom, <laughs> can you Shannon, can you go? <laughs> can you go? <laughs> um, I have a WTF. <clears throat> What's my WTF? This isn't it. No. <laughs> that ring isn't it. No, now I'm thinking about it. It's a lot. I'm like, Ugh. yeah. But I'm like, you're crazy. I know. And I let them know. I'm like, hey, a wild card. <laughs> like I said, pray for her. Okay. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> Alfred's gonna be like Kyle. What? 
And that's going to be my response. <laughs> I didn't do anything. <laughs> I didn't, she didn't, didn't do anything. <laughs> I did nothing. I mean, I'm not married. Okay, Kyle. And that's my line. Okay. What's your, what's your thought, Shannon? <clears throat> Kyle, do you have a WTF? You I heard a you said you had a WTF. Yeah, sure, yours. it was about Boz and Zach. So oh, I, I had a very Boz Zach filled weekend. The other night, Boz was watching a movie. Um, it was a basketball movie, and he was like, "Hey, mom, can you put that basketball movie back on?" I was like, "Yeah." And then he was like, "What's this movie called again?" And I said, "White men can't jump." And he was like, "Oh, okay." And then I was like, "Yeah." And then I started to use the bathroom, and then he was like, "Hey, mom, like Zach can't jump," and I was like, <laughs> "What?" I was like, "What are you talking about?" And he was like, "Zach." can't jump and i was like yeah zach can jump and he was looking at he looked at the screen and was like what do you mean i was like and then i said oh do you, <laughs> I, I, said, I said do you think zach's white baby and he said i mean he looks like it damn and i was damn. like i said no zach's black and he said oh cause so zach can jump but i was like oh my god this um the movie title one was too much for my ch- my child, and I maybe shouldn't have told him the movie ch- the title. Yeah, that's and funny. then it was him. I love thinking that, that Zach, Zach was, was white, and not he couldn't jump. Yeah, and I was yeah, it was him asking like, "Dang, Zach can't jump." Then I was like, "Who else do you think is white?" We started to have this whole conversation of like how black comes in all these different shades. I love and that. Just, like the beauties of black, but it was funny because for a second he was like, "Hold on, Zach can't <laughs> jump." Like he was concerned. So that was my first little like <laughs> Zach Boz moment. And then last night, um, you know, the boys are leaving soon. The family wants to spend time with the boys. Zach, I was going to take Boz to the movies to go see Spider-Man. Zach heard. And then he was like, he was excited. So it was like, do you want to take him? Um, and it was great. So they went to the movies. Once they got back, Boz, we, we were getting in bed. Boz was like, oh, my stomach hurts. I feel like I'm going to vomit or I'm going to puke. And I was like, oh, well, do you need to go to the bathroom? He was like, no, I'm okay. So I laid a towel under him. And then I'm walking upstairs to Shine and Zach to go laugh and be like, oh, ha, ha, like, what happened with Boz? Like, he's talking about I got to puke. And at that time, Zach is telling Cheyenne all of this stuff that Boz had at the movie theaters, popcorn, sour candy belts, a Coke Slurpee, and now he's just... <laughs> Crunch, we crunch, were crunk, cracking, cracking up. up, and I'm Zach like, is like, Boz is a child, like he is <laughs> a real child, and then he had the gummy worms, and he was trying to pretend that he had braces on, so then he's oh, like, Boz, just eat God. it. Then he says, I turn around, he ate the whole bag, and I'm like, ah, oh, shit, his stomach about to hurt. But then he said at that point, I just had to commit. Yeah, like it all was right, done. it Have was fun. done. It was done, but so, oh, we were crying. Yeah, we were That's cracking funny. up, and as he's telling this story, I'll ever hear Sir Boz going, "Mom, I did it! <laughs> I did it! Poor baby!" And it was like a little <laughs> cute pile, but he's never had those like sour gummy worm things at the movies. Usually, he was living his best yeah, life. I want to say, bro, that you like, broke all the have rules. Fun. He only gets mm-hmm. chocolate if you're gonna do candy. Like he oh. he broke it all, and. He, I was you like, candy bro, rules? why didn't you? Yeah, I have candy rolls. I was like, why didn't you say anything? He was like, you weren't there. <laughs> like, Zach does not have candy Zach rolls. Zach was like, oh, I'm taking nephew to the movies. I don't care. He said they had a good time, so he didn't care. Yeah, it wasn't really a WTF. It was actually a really was good, funny. a good time, but it was funny. I have a WTF. What happened, So Shannon? me and Parker went to go see Spider-Man. <clears throat> we were having the best time. All of a sudden... The fucking lights went on and the sirens went off. Oh. And they said, evacuate, evacuate, go to your nearest. There's an emergency outside the theater. Go um, to your nearest exit. And my life flashed before me. And I thought I was about to die. It was the most horrible, what the fuck is happening Were moment. People, like, running my life. Yes, frantic? girl. So what was the problem? Nothing. We got outside. Everyone's world was normal. Our world, everyone in the, the theaters were just panicking. Oh. We got outside and the stupid guy that was checking it was, oh my God, it was just a false alarm. I'm like, I must have went off on him. I said, no, sir. It, you don't do that, that to families so that mad. have kids. One, my I fucking snatched my kid up so fucking fast. I 
Yeah, don't know what I was. automatically yeah. go worst case scenario. Yes, where's I the shooter? Doing, yes, and where's so the bomb? The world so we live lately. in, yeah. the world we live in, you can't put you it past it. You don't put not. I don't put nothing past it. Yeah. That's like my worst nightmare. So when I got outside, I wanted to pop off. I'm like, fuck that, no. He was mm. like, we're not getting refunds. I said, nah, you're about to give me a refund. We got a refund. Because then the little girl came walking by and she was like, oh, I'm so sorry. Here, do you guys want refunds and or tickets? Yeah. I like, I want it all. Whatever you can give me, give it to me. Because I'm yeah. like, you see my kid over here crying, panicking. His Parker's heart was going by so oh. fast. I had to tell him, I'm like, Papa, breathe, breathe, breathe. It's okay. Yeah. So, yeah, that was my WTF. That's scary. Well, was, I mean, I'm glad worse. that it was a false alarm yeah, and there was too. not going because, anything going on. But that's still really scary. But I went into that shock of... Fuck, what am I gonna do when I go? I, like, I didn't know what door to exit. I was like, fuck, what do I do if there is a shooter? How do I navigate this? Yeah. Um, it was just all the thoughts. And it's like, do I go the direction yes, of everyone? Do yes. I find a side Literally, door? Literally, so Parker yelled at like, me because it was one of the, when I was, we ran out, I stood for a second. He's like, Mom, go! And I'm like, fuck, go, go. <laughs> Whatever you say. <laughs> Not Parker telling you to go. He was mad. He was like, girl, there's no yeah. decision making. Yeah. But yeah, when we got out, they wanted to act real normal. So I had to do little Shannon pop off. And I'm like, nah. <laughs> well, I'm just happy that there was actually nothing. There and wasn't that nothing. You guys we did were, get your refund. We were able, to, yeah, we got refunded. We were able yeah, to enjoy safe. the rest yeah. of our day. Um, we were able to, I was able to calm him down because um, then I had to buy a birthday present that day. So then, you know, I got Parker something, and he told me after he was like, "Thank you, mommy, for making this the best, like Aww. making this situ- making the situation, situation better. way better." He just and he gave me the hugest hug, Aww. and I knew it was so genuine because mm. he was so in like shock. Yeah, felt um, his his fear. But once you know, I calmed him down, and we you know did what he wanted to do. He was like, he was like, "Thank you, mommy. This is you made it so much better." Oh, good. So, so it my, turned around. It turned it turned around. All right, we have to go. Um, cause it's time. Yeah. Oh, sure. yeah. Um, <laughs> this was definitely eye opening. I I'm sure it's going to be eye opening for you guys. Also, it was definitely eye opening for me. I hope that everybody has a fantastic week. Don't forget about the prayer. Okay. That we're going to all speak on to Kyle. <laughs> um, don't forget to follow us at think loud crew on Instagram and on YouTube, like comment, subscribe, share us. And don't forget to tell your crew about our crew. And you can follow me at shy, not shy. And you can follow me at hair by Shannon C. And you can follow me at our Kyle Lynn. <laughs> Thanks y'all. <laughs>